thank you, Mr. Chairman and, and Madam Chair. Um, I, I'm glad to see us returning on the Appropriations Committee to uh, qu what I'll call quasi-regular order, where our subcommittees are, are meeting and, and talking about the matters within our jurisdiction. Um, and I think we should return to full regular order. I think whether we return to full regular order will depend on Senator Schumer. Uh, I'm not convinced yet that he will allow us to return to full regular order. I'm not convinced yet that he will give up his power to uh, basically write the budget, he and a few other leaders. And uh, I'm not convinced, well, I don't want to necessarily ascribe this to, to uh, Chuck. Many people like an omnibus because they can hide the spending and because they have enough internal power to get what they want. And uh, for everybody else, it's too bad. So uh, I hope that we'll all encourage Senator Schumer to actually bring the the, uh, the 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 bills to the floor because that's going to be the true test. We can all meet and have all ask all these questions and pour over budgets that never have a chance to pass. It's going to depend on Senator Schumer, and that's kind of the bottom line. Mr. Secretary, yesterday. Um, you testified in judiciary that you support an assault weapon ban, and we didn't have much time to talk about that. Um, tell me your definition once more of an assault weapon. Um, uh, Senator, we did indeed um, have a brief exchange on, on that very important, uh, very important subject. I am not an expert. Right. With respect to the definition but, of the assault bans, and so I defer. You to are the Secretary of Homeland Security. I, I, as as I, um, I was about to say, I defer to the experts. Uh, I defer to, uh, for example, the definition of a, uh, an assault a weapon that was codified in the prior iteration of the legislation that was passed and uh, that um, uh, was in operation when I served as an, an Assistant United States Attorney and the United States Attorney in the Central District of California. So you would support the prior definition under? Uh, Senator, I, I, I must defer to the experts with respect to the definition, uh, but I will tell you, for example, military-style weapons are of tremendous concern. We are seeing a, um, too much devastation. How do you define, but I mean, you, 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 you personally think we should ban assault weapons, and I... I know you to be an intelligent man and a thinking person, so I'm, I know you've thought about it. What is it about a military, what do you mean by a military-style weapon? Um, uh, Senator, um, I really must, must say that you are probing a very, very important area definitionally, definitionally uh, in which I do not have the requisite uh, expertise. I will say this, I will say this, when we see when we see the tragedy in Nashville, and it is not the first such tragedy that we see, when I engage with my international counterparts and they ask me almost invariably first, what is going on with all the mass killings in the United States and why are these assault weapons Yes, um, disseminated so broadly, I say that we need legislation to well, ban. Let me let me follow up on that. So you support an assault weapon ban, but you don't have a definition. Is that right, uh, Senator? Uh, I I think that um, you understand where I stand. No, I don't. I don't. You made a very bold statement, very uh, firmly saying we should ban all assault weapons, and all I'm asking is what in your mind, is an assault weapon. I mean, you say it's military style. Does that mean it looks like a military weapon? Uh, uh, Senator, I, I believe I've addressed 
uh, your question. I mean, what, what if it's if a, what if it's I, a I single think, shot twenty two that looks like a military weapon? Would you ban that because it's scary looking to you? Senator, I think I've addressed um, your question to the best of my abilities. But but you haven't. I mean, I'm trying to understand. You're Secretary of the Department of Homeland Security. And as is your right, as an American, you believe we should ban assault weapons. But it bothers me you can't tell me what you would ban. Senator, I would be very pleased to speak with experts and um, uh, confer with you subsequent to today's hearing and share with you a proposed definition that could be inserted into the legislation that is so desperately needed. But, because I will tell you, the, w the but, way but, I look but, at but, it but, but is Mr. I Secretary, see so what, much what if, tragedy. What if Senator Tester, my good friend, he's not here, what if Senator Tester said to you, I oppose illegal immigration, which I think he does, and you said to him, what, what do you mean by illegal immigration? And he said, well, I don't know, but I oppose it. You wouldn't accept that answer, and that's the answer you've given me. You, you, you said you want to oppose all assault weapons, but you don't know what they are. Can you give me an example? Senator, I think I gave you an example yesterday, so I'm not exactly sure why you're posing Which the one? Question. Refresh my memory the example. Uh, I believe I, I said uh, an AK-47. Well, what is it about an AK-47 that you, you find to, to be objectionable? Is it, is it the fact that it has a magazine? Senator. Um, do you know what a magazine is? Uh, Senator. Um, but first, do, I, you, do you know what a magazine is, Mr. Uh, Secretary? Yes, I do. And Senator, um, uh, what I've, I've come to, to, uh, to do is testify uh, to this uh, committee um, and not take an examination uh, uh, with respect to questions that I've already answered to the best of my ability. And so um, I think it is self-evident why an AK-47 should be banned as just one example. But I look forward to conferring it, it, with you. Except you, you can't explain what one is. I think, um, Senator, that Senator's we have... time has expired. Senator, we've seen enough tragedy. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.